no sir so okay so in the last class we were seeing what we were seeing sop and pos form okay so in today's session we are going to continue the discussion okay so where is sop used where is pos used we are going to see them one by one okay so one thing i forgot to tell you see basically uh, it's okay i will tell that in your k map so okay now there is one question over here so please tell me what will be the answer very simple question so we are going to start today's session with the questions only see look over here for the identity this identity given the dual form is so dual form you need to find for ab plus a complement c plus bc is equal to ab plus a complement c okay so if i take dual so i have already told you in dual plus converts to dot and vice versa and one converts to zero and vice versa so here you can see these are all dot and here it is plus so this will be a plus b dot a complement plus c dot b plus c is equal to a plus b dot a complement plus c so which option do we see so option a is your correct answer okay yeah. option yeah. a is what happened any doubt no, no. Uh, no sir uh, just uh, confirmation that uh, actually do we also need to simplify the side as if it's needed needed see if they are asking dual okay if they are asking you dual this is in which form this is in sop form so dual of sop will be pos so you don't need to solve it once again because if they are asking you in sop format so obviously the dual will come in your pos form okay so if you solve this if you solve this expression also once again by opening the brackets you will again get this expression only okay you will get this expression you can do that you will get the this expression from where we had started okay so there will not be any change so no requirement of doing further simplification okay if your options are matching then it's okay so the next question is for a three input logic circuit shown below the output z can be expressed as so this is a 2017 question very quickly tell me what will be the answer what answer did we get don't look into my solution okay so i had solved that to save time okay so that we can save few minutes so what answer did we get this is a very very simple question you can see here we have what we have p here this is connected to q so this will be q complement this two inputs are passed through where it is passed through your just give me a second so it is passed through where it is passed through your nand gate here it is q and this is again r and q it is again passed through your nand gate so simply if we solve this so you need to solve like this okay so here i have used what i have used de morgan's rule de morgan rule i applied then i kept on solving this and i got the simplified form q complement plus r which is option c very simple question okay 
so this is the next question yes tell so, me any yes sir so the third step in simplification so that q bar plus r q you just change it to q plus q bar like how so? where this one no sir after that and the second step you change no yes this sir, one after that you... is this yes, your sir, first that... class uh, no sir so i had explained the distributive property you forgot Sir, I'm asking that uh, second last step, sir. This one. Yes, sir. So this is Q complement plus Q. So this will be one. Yeah. But sir, there's there is like sir Q Q bar plus R, and you take it like in a single bracket, and there's Q, sir. Then you change where the Q, R Q one. What I'm not getting. So this Q bar is then sir Q complement plus R into Q. Okay. Q complement plus R Q. Yes. So. Yeah. Then sir, from Q you just let it manage. Like where's that Q? Where Q? I am not getting. So this is what I am doing. A plus B C is what? A plus B, A plus C. So this is the distributive property. So that oh, is yes, what. Sir. I yes, sir. Sorry. Okay. So now this question solves everyone. Very good question. i am giving you 1 minute to think about this question answers anyone so this is a good question okay very good question b so look here what option b let us check so what is given the output y in the circuit below is always one so this needs to be one when so if this needs to be one so that means what what should be the condition this is your nand gate okay so if this needs to be one so what can we do so look at the option two or more of the inputs of p q r are zero two or more of the inputs of p q r are one any odd number of inputs p q r is zero any odd number of p q r is one okay so here it is said what let us check option wise okay so it is said two or more of the inputs p q r are zero two or more so let me take any two so if i take p q 0 and this as one so what will i get so this is 0 0 into 0 this will be one from here again i will get one so this will be one into one so this is zero okay and over here this will be one so i am getting one now check over here this is 0 into 1 so this will be 1 okay so this is already done so i should be checking this one yes so here you can see this is 1 into 0 so this will be 1 and this is 1 okay 1 into 1 so this is coming out to be 0 but in the question it is said that this should be always 1 so option a is incorrect now look what is said any odd number of p q r is zero any odd so if i have to take odd so one is a odd number one is an odd number so i am taking just one zero and remaining all ones so if i do that so what will be this so this will be one and over here this is 1 into 1 so this will be 0 so this is 1 again this is 0 okay and if any one of the input of your nand gate is 0 obviously 
your output is going to be 1. So any odd number of input, if I take 1, 0, it is satisfying. Now let me take 3 zeros at once. Okay? Because 3 is also odd number. So if I take 3 zeros at a time, so this will be what? This will be 1 and this will be 1 and over here this will be 1. So if this is 1, so this will be 0. Over here this is 1, 1 into 1, so this is 0. Okay, so again this is false. Any odd number of input P, Q, R is 0, this is also false. So in this, over here, any odd number of inputs of P, Q, R is 1. So let me take this. So let me take first all the three inputs as 1. So this will be what? This will be 0, this will be 0, this will be 0. This is what? This will be 1. And if this is 0, okay, this is 0. So obviously this is going to be 1 because any one of the input of NAND gate, if it is 0, output will be immediately 1. Okay. So now let us check for a single one if it is satisfying our condition. Because it is said any odd number of inputs of PQR is 1. So this will be what? 1 into 0. So this will be 1. This is what? 0, 0. So this will be also 1. This is also 1. So this is 0. This is 1. So this is 1 into 1. So look here. Again, this is coming out to be 0. So option D is false. Only remaining is what? Option B. So you can mark option B or you can even check this like we have done okay like we have done you can check this also two or more inputs of pqr are one so if you do that see if two or more of the inputs of pqr are one obviously you will get one so take any two inputs as one so like if i take this two as one and this as zero so what will be this this will be zero and even this will be zero and here this will be one into one sorry these are going to be one 1, 1 and this is 0, okay. So 1 into 1, this will be 0, this is 1, so this is 0, this will come out to be 1. Now if you take 3 ones, we have already checked for 3 ones, it is coming out to be 1. When it is single one, at that time it is coming out to be 0. So once again I am not checking, so option B is your correct answer. So this was a very good question, okay, very good question. Now this question, this question, so you guys do, I am just checking something, okay. What answer are we getting? So here only I will discuss with you. Okay. I will discuss this with you over here.
what answers are we getting ऑप्शन ए ओके सो लुक वेरी केयरफुली नाउ इट इज सेड वॉट द बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन सो दिस इज गिवन दिस इज इन योर यू कैन सी स्टैंडर्ड एसओपी ओके स्टैंडर्ड एसओपी कन्वर्टेड इन टू कैनॉनिकल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम पीओएस फॉर्म okay pos form so now look very carefully if you want to convert this there are two ways okay there are two ways to convert first either whatever is given like f x y z you take complement okay pos sop means what sop means if you go and check in sop more importance is given to one okay more importance is given to one and in pos more importance is given to zero so we will discuss why why is this like this we will discuss in k map but at the moment i am telling that for sop more importance is on one and for pos it is on zero so either for converting this sop to pos you take whole complement or you can do one thing you just see means this method i want to discuss now only so look here it is given f is equal to what x complement y z complement plus x y complement z complement plus x y z complement plus x y z so this is this over here it is a three variable boolean expression okay three variable boolean expression that means you can have from 0 to 7 and i told what in sop more importance is to 1 and in pos more importance is to 0 so note this down we are going to discuss why okay or even we can discuss over here also it's no big deal so look over here suppose i give you a min term x y z so let me ask you when will this be one when will this be one for what combination of x y z will this be one for what sequence you are now so when x z will be one and y will be zero so it will be 1 0 1 you are telling for this unique combination this will be 1 now let me ask you when this will be equal to 0 can you give me a unique such sequence you cannot give me a unique sequence why if you take something like this this will be 0 even if you take this will be zero or even if you take this will be still zero so there is no unique sequence for zero in your sop or in min term so the uniqueness is where uniqueness is in one so that is why in sop our one is more important now let us come to pos now tell me for what unique combination 
will this sequence be equal to zero? Or any combination other than one zero one? Think again. Think again, Shubham. Think again. So this will be zero only when x is zero, y is one, and z is zero. Okay. For any other combination you take. this will not be zero okay this will not be zero for any other combination now for example if i want to make this one so there can be like if i take x1 y0 z0 this will be one if i take x1 y1 z1 then also it will be zero if i take x1 y1 and z0 then also this will be one so here you can see in pos term uniqueness is in zero okay so for sop uniqueness is in one and in pos uniqueness in zero so tell me if this is clear or not so why we usually search for one in sop and why do we search for zeros in pos this is now hopefully clear to you if there is any doubt you can ask so now look all the min these are all min terms why min terms because these are in your sop form so what is the min term number for this one so this is 010 this is 100 this is 110 and this is 111 so this is what this is m2 this is m4 this is m6 this is m7 now in a boolean expression okay in a boolean expression if there is no don't care okay if there are no don't care so whatever is your sop or whatever is your min term number the remaining numbers will be max term okay if there are no don't care so if there are no don't care conditions i will explain what is don't care just give me a moment if there are no don't care conditions then whatever is your min term numbers all the remaining numbers will be your max term so look over here this is a boolean expression using three variable so with three variable we can go from 0 to 7 so out of those 2 4 6 7 is your sop so the remaining are your max term as there is no means there is no say means there is nothing said about don't care so that is why the remaining terms are max term so obviously 0 1 3 5 is your what it is your max term so how do we write 0 in your pos form so pos form this will be 0 0 0 or 0 0 0 corresponds to x plus y plus z okay sorry 0 0 0 so this is x plus y plus z 1 will be what 0 0 1 so 0 0 1 will be x in am i making some mistake no it's okay so x plus c i will write it down so this is what This is your zero zero zero. This is zero zero one. This is zero one one, and this is one zero one. And I told you what in POS zero corresponds to normal, and one corresponds to complemented form. Okay, so zero 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 will be what x plus y plus z. This will be x plus y. Plus z complement. This will be what x plus y complement plus z complement, and the last one will be x complement plus y plus z complement. So, which option do we see? So, check check x plus y plus z, x plus y plus z complement, x plus y complement, z complement, x complement plus y plus z. So, option A. option a is your correct answer very good shruti okay 
so option a is your correct number correct option so if you have any doubts you can ask or else i will be explaining you one more concept that what is don't pair okay so all of you might have heard about binary coded digit bcd okay binary coded digit where we represent decimal number 0 to 9 in four bit binary string okay four bit binary string we define our from 0 to 9 decimal number like suppose if i want to write 21 so how will i write in bcd one corresponds to 0001 and two corresponds to 0010 so the bcd string for 21 will be 0010 0001 like this okay so basically what we are doing we are going from 0 to 9 now listen very carefully what is don't care i will explain so in 8421 this is your msb this is your lsb so msb has weight 8 and lsb has weight 1 so 0 0 0 this corresponds to decimal 1 this sorry this corresponds to decimal 0 this corresponds to decimal 1 this to 2 this to 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 but what we know using four binary digits okay using four bit using four binary bit what we can do we can represent number from 0 to 15 so in 11 means in bcd 11 is represented as 001 0001 0001 okay in bcd this is represented like this but in four bit binary 11 is represented as what 1011 okay sorry this is 10 so 1011 that will be your 11 so 9 i should have written 10 over here this is 10 and after this it will be 1011 so this will be 11 even 10 this is invalid bcd so how do we represent this invalid bcd we represent it with don't care so don't cares are those condition in your boolean expressions which do not occur okay it does not occur did we understand the concept of don't care so in any question in any question if there is no mentioning of don't care then this will hold true always whatever is the min term number all the remainings are going to be max term number but if there is mentioning of don't care it will be mentioned in the question explicitly that these these min term these these numbers these are what these are your don't care so if any doubts let me know or else note down this concept we will move on to the next question any so doubt so i didn't get that don't care thing the don't care means what don't cares are those conditions which do not occur like in bcd i told you 10 is a invalid number 10 is invalid why because 10 in bcd is it is represented as 0000 and this will be 0001 so this is the bcd representation of 10 because in 10 any number is represented with its four bit equivalent binary number okay here you can see with four bits we can denote 10 like what 1010 so this is invalid in your bcd case so that is why i am putting a don't care or a cross over here don't care are all those cases in your boolean expression which does not occur now did you understand yes okay so now note down this concept next question tell me so here sum of product is asked just the opposite if nothing is mentioned that means there is no don't care see if you don't understand any concept you are free to ask okay 
once twice even thrice it's okay i will explain you but don't sit quietly see here these are written in your pos form so this corresponds to the max term number see normal number over here is 0 and complemented form is 1 so this will be 0 0 1 this will be what 0 1 1 this will be what this will be 1 0 0 and this is what 1 1 1 so this corresponds to 1 this corresponds to 3 this corresponds to 4 this corresponds to 7 so this is a three variable boolean expression so we can go from 0 to 7 remaining all numbers are your min term number so that is 0 2 Uh, zero one is taken two three four five and six so zero will be what it will be zero 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 so that will be mean sorry a b c yeah so a complement b complement c complement plus a complement b c complement plus five will be what one zero one so that will be a b complement c and six will be a com sorry a b c complement so which option do we see option b okay option b are we understanding the concept is this clear everyone yes, tell me sir. yes or no yes sir even for yes and no shubham you can type in the chat box okay If you guys have doubt, you can unmute and speak. But for yes, no, you can just type in the chat box. And no need to write yes, sir. Okay, it consumes a lot of time. Simply write Y or N. No salutations are required. Okay. No, sir, nothing. It's okay. Okay. So now this question. This is your min term expansion of this one. So very quickly, tell me what will be the min term expression. so you might be thinking that these questions are irrelevant or what we are doing okay but i am sharing you few tricks over here that will be helpful when we go ahead so solve this question very quickly see for getting the min term you require the standard sop or for even getting max term number you require standard sop but here you can see the min term given is not in its standard form any answers so look look over here so if i convert this sop to standard sop so here it is pqr so here r is missing so i can write it like pq r plus r complement here p is missing so this will be p plus p complement q r complement here q is missing so this will be p q plus q complement r complement so if i expand this this will be p q r plus p q r complement plus p q r complement plus p complement q r complement plus p q r complement plus p q complement r complement so this corresponds to 1 1 1 so this will be 7 this corresponds to 1 1 0 so this will be 6 this corresponds to 1 1 0 so again this will be 6 this corresponds to 0 1 0 so this will be what 2 this corresponds to 1 1 0 so this will be again 6 this corresponds to 1 0 0 so this will be 4 so your min term numbers if i write in ascending order so that will be m2 so 6 is occurring thrice only once i will write so okay before that 4 is also here so m4 
plus m6 plus m7. So which option do we see? 2, 4, 6, 7. Option A. Okay. Option A is your correct answer. Now this is quite lengthy method. You can see that I took like 3, 4 minutes to solve this. Now how do we solve such question during exam? So look, this is a lengthy method that I did. See in exam, nobody, I have written a comma over here, so this is flat. Look, in exam we don't do like this. So this is the order of variable, whatever is given. So P is MSB, R is LSB. So you need to maintain this order, okay. This P is MSB, R is LSB. Even if it is not said, it is given in this bracket. You can see P is written first, R is written last. So P is MSB, R is, sorry, P is MSB, R is LSB. So now if this is the case, what can you see? R is missing over here. P and Q is given. P is in non-complemented form. Even Q is non-complemented form. So P is 1. Q is 1, what is missing? R is missing. So for R, I put a cross over here. So this means what? Either R will take 0 or it will take 1. So immediately if this thing comes, so if this is 0, so if for 0 this will be 5, if this is 1, this will be 7. So over here you can see P is missing, Q and R both have value. So Q is what? Q is 1, R complement, so complement in SOP form corresponds to 0. So P is missing. So for P, I put a cross. So this cross corresponds to either 0 or 1. So if I take 0, this will be 2. If I take it as 1, this will be 6. For this one, here you can see P, Q is missing. So P has value 1. Q is missing. So I will put a cross in its place. R is 0. So in place of this cross, first put 0. So this will be what? This will be your 4. If I put 1, so this will be 6. Now you have your midterm numbers. You can see that is your M2, M4, M6. So why am I getting 5 over here? P, Q, OK, sorry. So this over here, I have done a mistake. R was missing and I have taken Q as missing. So P has value 1. Q has value 1 and R it is missing. So this will be don't care. So for this if I take 0, so this will be 6. If I take 1, this will be 7. Now it is correct. So if I write the min term number, so this will be M2 plus M4 plus M6 plus M7. So did we understand this method? If any doubts, let me know. So this is a far, far simpler method to solve. Okay, very simple method to solve. Like if I ask you one question. So I have one more question based on this. So this one. Very quickly tell me what will be the expression you get after minimizing. See, this hyphen means it is complement. We write it like this or we can even write it like this, okay? A complement or A hyphen, whatever you want to write. A dash. So for this question, what is your answer? Let me know. So I told you, what? If your expression is given in SOP, if I take complement, whole complement, so this will give me POS, okay, POS. So now solve this, okay. Now solve this.
Did we understand the concept or not? So solve very quickly. See, basically they are asking min terms after minimizing the following expression. Okay, what will be the min terms that remains after minimizing the following expression? Okay, or else let us do one thing. Let us solve this question after understanding k-maps. Okay, first let us see what is k-map. So, any answers did we get? So, we can even solve it over here. It's okay. So look very carefully. Let me solve this for you. So it is given what? B complement plus AB complement or I will just write it in the form which I am comfortable. Plus A complement C plus AC complement D plus A complement C complement, D complement. And on top of that, we have a complement. Okay. So at the moment, leave this complement. Okay. This is written in SOP form. Okay. So first, let me find the min term numbers for this. So if nothing is mentioned and here it is A, B, C, D. So A will be MSB and D will be LSB. Remember this. So over here you can see this is D complement. So out of A, B, C, D, only D is fixed and it is 0. Remaining A, B, C, we don't know what will be the values. So here you can see this will be what? This will be from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, uh, sorry. This will be next term will be what? 0, 0, 1, 0. Next term will be 0, 0, sorry, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, next will be 0, 1, 0, next will be this, then this will be what, 1, sorry, 1, 0, 1, 0, next will be 1, 1, 0, 0, and the last one will be 1, 1, 1, 0, okay. So, this is what, this is 0, this is 2, next will be 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So I wanted K map because this would have been simpler. Okay, this would have been simpler if we had used K map. Now next you can see what this is A, B complement. C and D are missing. Value for A is 1, for B is 0. This is missing. So this will be what? 1, 0. This should now go on in your mind that when you put 0, 0, this will be 8. If you put 0, 1, this will be 9. If you put 1, 0, this will be 12. And if you put 1, 0, 1, 1, this will be 13. This should now go on in your mind, okay? So this will be 8, 9, 12, 13. For this one, this is what? This is A complement C. So that means 0, 1. So this will be what? If you put 0, so this will be 2. If you put 0, 1, so that will be 3. If you put 1, 0, so it will be 6. If you put 1, 1, so it will be 7. So this will be what? 2, 3, 6, 7. Okay, 2, 3, 6, 7. Now what? This is A, C, D. 
सो ए सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट डी सो वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज फिक्सड बी वी डोंट नो सी इज इन योर कॉम्प्लीमेंट फॉर्म सो दैट इज जीरो एंड डी इज वन सो ऑब्वियसली इफ यू पुट जीरो सो दिस विल बी नाइन इफ यू पुट वन ओवर हियर सो दैट विल बी थर्टीन and for this one it is what a complement c complement d so if you if you see over here so this is 0 0 so this will be either 4 or this will be 0 so 0 4 tell me up to this point is it clear now i am explaining so that is why it is taking time and if we had known your k map this would have been like a question of 1 minute to 2 minutes okay not more than that because i am explaining so that is why i am taking time so now very quickly write the min term numbers okay min term numbers you write so i am erasing all this part extra additional part i am just keeping this so you can see it is 0 1 is present anywhere no 1 is not present so 0 2 3 3 yes it is present 4 is present 5 is it present any place so 5 is not present any place okay it's okay 6 is present 7 is present 8 is present 9 is present 10 is also present 11 11 is not present 12 is present 13 is present 14 is present 15 no 15 is also not present so now what i have i have a complement over here so if i complement this this sop converts to pos form okay it converts to pos form somewhere i think i have made some mistake okay there should be only one min term for this piyush is correct but i am getting few more over here okay so this sop will convert to pos so now these are your pos so obviously if these are your pos remaining will be sop so remaining is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 11. so 1 and 15 are present so this is wrong so this is wrong one should be present somewhere so here it will not be present here this is 1 0 no over here it will not be present so the last term is a complement c complement in d okay so this is d yes i have put d complement over here i am very sorry so this will be what so this is a complement is 0 b we don't know c is 0 d is 1 so if i put 0 so this will be 1 if i put 1 this will be 5 so 5 is already present and 1 will come over here okay 1 will come over here so now when i do complement of sop all this terms now converts to pos now these are your pos number after i complement so the remaining out of this remaining from 0 to 15 which number is remaining only 15 is remaining so 15 is your sop and they have asked you what the number of min terms after minimizing so the min term number is what it is 15 if any one of you have any doubt please let me know or else this question will be very very lengthy if you solve it from normal method okay so always remember if you have been given with sop if you take complement so then that sop becomes pos or if you have some min term numbers if you complement it becomes max term numbers and vice versa okay vice versa so remember this concept this is very very good concept for solving question so we will again come back to this question when we solve k map then it will be more simple to see tell me if any doubts over here any doubts okay fine so now 
let us go to kmap but before going to kmap let me ask you what is gray code what is gray code it is a kind of reflective code okay reflective code now what do we mean by that okay so before that let me show you how to convert a binary string to a gray string gray code string so suppose if i have a binary number 101011 and i want to convert it to gray so look very carefully what i do the msb bit is copied in your gray and the subsequent consecutive bits are xor okay so one xor with zero it will be one zero xor with one again this will be one one xor with zero this will be again one zero xor with one this will be again one and one xor with one this will be zero so this is the gray code equivalent of the binary string that has been given okay that has been given so let me ask you a very simple question what will be the gray code equivalent of this binary string write very quickly till that time so what will be the gray code equivalent of this so look very carefully msb bit i have to copy in your gray also so this will be one next consecutive bit just xor them so one xor zero so that will be one zero xor one again that will be one one xor with one that will be zero one xor with one again this will be zero so this is the binary equivalent sorry the gray equivalent of the given binary string is this clear everyone any doubts in this okay chandana you have some doubt okay fine so now look very carefully i have written binary equivalent from of binary equivalent of decimal number from 0 to 7 now let me write the equivalent gray code also so this will be 0 0 0 this will be what 0 so 0 will come over here 0 xor 0 so this will be 0 0 xor 1 that will be 1 over here this will be 0 1 1 next will be 0 1 0 this will be what 1 1 0 1. this will be what 1 1 1 this will be what 1 0 one and this will be 1 0 zero, zero okay now look very carefully when we go from when we go from 0 to 1 in binary only the lsb position is changing okay lsb position is changing so there is a bit change in only one place but when we go from 1 to 2 you can see msb is remaining the same but lsb uh, sorry this middle term it is changing from 0 to 1 and lsb is changing from 1 to 0 so there is a bit change of 2 over here okay two bits have changed but now look at gray for gray if you see so when you go from 0 to 1 there is only one bit change in the lsb now if you go from 1 to 2 okay 1 to 2 if you go lsb is remaining the same msb is remaining the same only this middle bit is changing from 0 to 1 now similarly if you go from 3 to 4 so if you go from 3 to 4 in binary you can see all the three bits are changing msb is changing from 0 to 1 
this middle term is changing from 1 to 0 and this LSB is changing from 1 to 0. But now go to the gray equivalent. If you see, look over here, only this MSB is changing from 0 to 1, rest remaining bits are not changing. So remember this in gray code, basically only one of the subsequent bit changes in your consecutive numbers. Okay, Only one of the subsequent bits will change in your consecutive number in gray code. So that is why if I just do what? If I rotate this, okay, if I rotate this and bring it over here, okay, suppose if this is this number, look very carefully, if all this gray code, okay, if I write this gray code, on a piece of rectangular paper like this, okay, if I write it on a piece of rectangular paper and now what I do, I simply take this edge over here and make a cylinder like this, okay, if I make a cylinder like this. So you can see what this end will be connected to this end and again you can see in between this two there is only what there is a bit change of one position. You can see only in this MSB part this is converting from 0 to 1 remaining all are 0 0 0. So this is what is meant by reflective codes. Okay. So there is only one bit change and there is a side means what if I just do what means it is very hard to explain. So that is why I have drawn this that if I form a solid structure using this codes, it is basically what there is only one subsequent bit change in your consecutive numbers. Is that clear the concept of gray code? Any doubts in this you can ask. If you have any other queries also you can ask about gray code. Okay. So now let me explain how to convert gray to binary also over here okay because later on we are going to see so suppose if you have a gray code okay gray code to binary so let me take the previous example only this one suppose i have a gray string okay gray code string i have so how do i convert it to binary so again it is the same thing, this is gray code, I need to convert it to binary. So simply what we are going to do, copy the MSB and then this result needs to be XOR with the next input gray code. So one XOR with one, this will come out to be 0, this 0 will be XOR with the next one, so 0 XOR 1, this will be 1. If this one has to be XOR with the next bit, so 1 XOR 1, again this will be 0. This 0 will be XOR with this one, so this will be what? This will be 1 and again 1 XOR with 0, so this is 1. So this is your binary equivalent. If you go and check, this is what I had taken in the first place for our example. So for gray code to binary, we need to basically XOR the input bit with the next consecutive bit of your gray code okay so this is how we convert gray code to binary now let us go to k map so k map is basically a kind of map which is used to simplify boolean expression so k map uses gray code okay we use gray code over here so this is basically a two variable k map okay two variable k map where we have functions of a and b let me assume i am taking sop over here so let me assume i have a function of a to b where there are min terms number 
like m zero one. Okay, zero one. So zero means what? This is your min term number. Okay, min term number. So zero means what? Zero zero. One means what? Zero one. Because this is your three variable. So uh, sorry, two variable. So a b can take values from zero 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 one. One zero to one one. Out of this two are what? This two I have assumed that it is your min terms. So how will I put over here? So this corresponds to B. This over here corresponds to B, and this corresponds to A. So I will write all the combinations of A B. So this will be B. This will be sorry. This will be B complement. This will be B. This will be A complement. This will be A. so a complement means what in your sop form remember in your sop form complement means zero non complement means one so similarly over here also this will correspond to zero this will correspond to one so this whole cell this is the cell okay this cell will correspond to look over here What is the value of a? Value of a is zero. Value of b is also zero. So zero zero. So basically, this will correspond to your min term number zero. Over here, a is zero, b is one. So this will be one. Over here in this cell, a is one, b is zero. So this will be one zero means two, and this will be three. Now look over here. Where do we have the min terms? We have min terms at zero at cell and first cell. Now. For minimizing this expression, we know what if we have such kind of min terms. This means what? Don't copy now. Okay. For copying, I will give you some time after the slide. Okay. So at the moment, just listen what I am saying. So this I could have written like a complement b complement plus a complement b. So if I simplify this, this will be a complement common b plus b complement, and this will come out to be a complement. okay so we know we could have solved like this and got the minimized expression but now i want to minimize this expression using your k map so how will i do i will start making group of ones okay for sop we make group of ones okay and the size of the groups it will be to the power of 2 either 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 till 2 to the power n so size of means the grouping size can be either it will be 1 or 2 or 4 or it will be 8 so we will see one by one how to make such groups and remember one thing your groups will be either horizontal or vertical okay groups will be either horizontal or vertical it cannot be a slant group means something like this you cannot have a group of ones like this this is invalid either you will have groups like this so this is what this is your horizontal group of two or you can have a group like this so this is your horizontal uh, sorry vertical group of two if you had one more one over here so you could have made two groups see you cannot make a group like this why because this is an invalid group you cannot make a group of three your group it should be in the power of two so one group will be like this one horizontal group and another vertical group of two this will be like this for this particular case so for our example look very carefully we have two ones like this so i can make a horizontal group okay i can make a horizontal group now how do i write the minimized expression this is the most important thing so in this two group what is common you can see so you if you go and check for b over here in this cell b is 
in this cell B is 1. So this is not common. But if you go and check for A, A complement is common for this cell as well as this cell. So I am going to write A complement over here. As this is your SOP, so we are going to write this in min term. So at the moment, this is two variable KMAP. So it is quite simple to write. Okay. Is this clear? Tell me up to this point. Is this clear? If it is clear, very quickly note down whatever I have said. Note down very quickly. Then I will be moving on to the next concept. So quickly, I am giving you one minute to note down. Noted. Okay. So now look, I made SOP. So I told you what? If there is no mentioning of don't care, whatever is your min term number, the remaining numbers will be SOP. So this is what? This is your B complement. This is B. This is a complement this is a so now i am going to write in pos form now this is very important in pos form look very carefully complement corresponds to one okay complement corresponds to one or you can leave it like this it's okay i will not confuse you see this cells are going to be zero one two three don't change this okay don't change this now look very carefully so this is zero you just follow one style i will not confuse you just follow this style now in pos the remaining places will be what it will be filled with zero so simply what i am going to do i am going to make a group of zero now okay in sop eh, sorry in pos we make group of zeros. This rules all remains the same. Size of the group should be like in the power of twos. Group should be horizontal and vertical. No means slanted groups is not valid. Okay. Rest all the conditions remains the same. Okay. Everything. When you make the K map, just follow this logic only. Okay. Just follow this logic. Now, when you write the simplified expression at that time, just keep in mind that when you write, see here, so over here, if you check B means this cell, if you go like this in your horizontal fashion, so you can see what over here it is B complement, here it is B. So in B, nothing is common, but if you go and check A equal to 1 is common, A equal to 1 is common. And I have told you clearly that one corresponds to what? One corresponds to non-complemented form in your POS. Okay. One corresponds to non-complemented form in POS. So this I will write as A complement. See, I have written A complement. Now if you check, basically this is what? This is the same Boolean expression I have done. Okay, same Boolean expression. So my result should also be the same. It is just a different way of representation like Rahul Day, it is my name. Okay, if anyone asks you who is Rahul Day, you will say that he is your digital teacher. But if someone asks you who is Day Rahul, it will also imply me only. Okay, it will imply me only. It is not like that 
this will be some other guy it is just a different way of representation i might be also identified with my aadhar number okay so it is just a different way of representation it doesn't mean that i am changing if someone goes and tell you my aadhar number so if that number is mine it will what it will direct you to me and i am the same person so basically sop and pos it is just a different kind of representation for the same boolean function so this you can see this is very important in sop always remember zero corresponds to complement and one corresponds to non complement and in pos zero corresponds to normal or non complement and one corresponds to complement okay tell me if up to this point whatever i told you is this clear if it is clear then we will go to three variable k map now your real concept will start if you don't know about k maps okay so copy this down very quickly So now let us move to three variable k maps. Okay, what is three variable k map? Again, I am taking one example. F is equal to where f is function of a, b, c, and I am taking min terms as zero, one. Uh, two, six, and seven. Okay, I am taking this min terms. How many are remaining? So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, fine. I can show you. Or let me just cancel one. This is okay. So. now i am not going to write a complement a i am not going to write simply i will be writing 0 1 over here and over here 0 0 0 1 see in your gray code basically after 0 0 0 1 11 will come and after that 1 0 you can find out yourself 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is your binary equivalent Okay, for zero, one, two, three, or your decimal. Now, if you calculate gray, this will be zero, zero. This will be zero, one. This will be one, one, and this will be one, zero. So that is why I am taking look over here. I have taken gray code. Basically, this representation is in gray. Okay, this representation is in gray numbers. Now, look very carefully. Look very carefully. So this cell will correspond to zero, zero, zero. This cell will correspond to zero zero one. This cell will correspond to zero one one. This cell will be zero one zero. This will be what one zero zero. This will be one zero one. This will be one one one, and this will be one one zero. So zero 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 means what? It will correspond to zero. This zero only because I am writing POS over here. So this I am representing PO. Sorry. i am representing the sop sop means what min terms so if these are your min terms what will be your max term so max term is denoted like this okay pi capital m so all the remaining numbers will be max term so that will be what 0 1 so 3 4 5 these are your max terms even 7 also okay so these will be your max terms so now i am going to write simultaneously okay see i am repeatedly telling for filling the numbers don't change this so this will correspond to 0 this will be 1 3 this will be 2 this will be what this will be your 4 5 7 6 just the binary equivalent sorry decimal equivalent of this binary numbers i have written okay 
so you can see 0 0 0 corresponds to 0 0 0 1 corresponds to 1 that is what i have written now look okay very carefully look so this is 0 this is 1 this place is 2 and 6 so where is 6 here it is 6 so it will be right. 1 now yes 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 okay this will be 1 now all the remaining places i will fill with 0 so this place will be 0 0 0 and this will be also 0 now let us start making the groups okay so you can see over here that you can make groups like this either you can make a group like this or like this so first i am showing you the grouping can means how can you group okay so you can make group like this or even you could have made group like this this is one group okay this is one group this can be your another group and this can be another group but if i want to get the minimized expression so listen very carefully note this down afterward if i want to get minimized expression number of groups either of 0 or 1 it should be minimum see basically i told you what when i was doing over here this term and this term if i connect them these are consecutive terms similarly over here this if i roll on a piece of paper and connect it over here so this and this they are consecutive numbers so even i can group like this this one and this one i can group it like this but when i group like this i am getting three group of twos okay three group of twos which is not necessary because i want to minimize this expression so what i am going to do i am going to make a group of one like this and one like this now look how i am going to write the sop expression look very very carefully so this will constitute one of the minimized expression or one of the minimized sop term and this will give to another minimized sop so look how will i write this so this i will write in sop form so if you check a means zero corresponds to a bar and this corresponds to A. So, 0 means complemented, 1 means non-complemented. So, write this, 0 means non-complemented and 1 means complemented. So, now see. So, over here, 0 is common for A. So, I will be writing A complement. Now, in this horizontal row, okay, in this row, what do you see? What is common? So, over here value of B is 0, over here also value of B is 0, here C is 0, C is 1. So, B is common, B equal to 0 is common. So, along with this, I will write B complement. So, the minimized SOP for this group is A complement, B complement. For this one, if I want to write, so this is your sum terms, sorry, product terms sum of product so i will be basically doing sum of the product terms so the next product term will come from here so if you check over here a is not common because here a is 0 here a is 1 but this b equal to 1 and c equal to 0 is common over here so i will be writing b c complement so this is the complete sop for this expression now if i want to write pos so look very carefully how I write. So 0 corresponds to normal number means normal variable and 1 corresponds to complement. Okay, 1 corresponds to complement. Now let me make the groups. So I can make group like this. This is one group. Another group I can make like this. Then there will be one more group like this. But if I want to get the minimized POS expression, my number of groups should be minimum. So, you can see this group, it is redundant group. 
because all other zeros have been covered when i make group like this okay no more zeros are present over here which is not covered by a group okay so this is what this is your best possible grouping that i can do so now look how do i write this expression for pos for this so zero corresponds to normal one corresponds to complement so in this you can see a equal to 1 is common so write a complement and from b and c what is common b equal to 0 is complement so this is what this is pos product of sum so i will be writing the sum terms sum terms will come from the group and individually i will be doing product okay so the first sum term will come from this group so this group corresponds to what a plus over here you can see what is common so b equal to 0 is common so this will be a plus b now what about this if you check a is not common b equal to 1 c equal to 1 so this will be b complement plus c complement so right over here b complement plus c complement okay so now you got the P sop and pos now you might be thinking sir you told us that sop and pos basically they both are same yes obviously it is same now look very carefully if i have this this is what this is the pos expression so look very carefully i will give you time to note don't worry so if i expand this so if i expand this will be what a complement b complement plus a complement c complement this will be b complement into b so this will be 0 plus b c complement okay b c complement now if i solve this okay if i solve this this is what a b complement plus a c complement plus b c complement this is in which form this is in your sop form now if i calculate the min terms for this so what you can see a equal to 0 b equal to 0 c is not present so this will be 0 1 for this term a equal to 0 b is not present c equal to 0 so this will be also 0 2 for this one a is not present b is 1 c is 0 so this will be what this will be 2 and this will be 6 if i write the min terms that is 0 1 2 6 so 0 1 2 6 is what from this is the place only we have started you can see from this pos expression i got this sop expression which is same as the example now did we understand what i was trying to say to you did we understand or not if it is clear quickly make your notes then i will give you one more example quickly note it down and means i am forgetting every day to actually give you the slides okay so today right now after class i will make a make this google drive and i will share the class notes with you so very quickly noted down is it noted yeah quickly note yes so now let me give you one example okay we can solve this later
so here you are going to write sop here you are going to write pos very quickly i will be back in like 1 minute okay answers anyone so look if i make groups okay group of one so i can make one group like this see your first aim should be to maximize the group size first aim maximize group size okay second should be minimize number of groups okay minimize number of groups so maximize group size here i can make either group of 1 group of 2 group of 4 so 4 is not possible anywhere i have to make group of 2 so this can be one another can be this and the third will be this so now if i start writing so first write all this so if i make for this group this is my group 1 so this is what a complement now look common in b and c so that is what c equal to 0 next will be what next if i am writing for this one so a equal to sorry so over here this should be 1 a equal to 1 is common in both so that is a and out of b and c what is common c equal to 1 is common so a plus c next if you write for this one so a is not common b equal to 1 c equal to 0 is common so this will be b c complement so this is what this is your sop for this expression now if you want to write pos for this expression so look very carefully how i make the groups so can i make means first look i can make a group of two like this one more i can make like this and one more i can make like this tell me is this correct is this correct is this okay okay this is not means this is correct okay this is correct grouping is correct but you won't be getting minimized boolean expression or minimized pos form why because my main aim is what maximize group size and minimize number of group and i have violated one of the thing what i haven't maximized the group size see i could have made a group of 4 like this okay so this is one group of 4 and this is one more group so if i have to write pos okay if i have to write pos expression so look very carefully in this in the small group of 2 what is common so a equal to 0 is common so this is in pos form so zero corresponds to non complement out of b and c b equal to 1 is common so first sum term is over now the next sum term so you can see what this group of 4 so in this group of 4 you can see a is not common because a is equal to 0 a is equal to 1 you now need to see in all the four cell what is common in all the four cell so a is not common in all the four cell b equal to 0 is also not common but c equal to 0 is common in all the four cell so this will be c okay so how many of you got both of the answers correct how many of you got okay very good shubham so now the last example okay last example why others couldn't get the answer why tell me the reason tell me the reason why we couldn't get answer 
वेर इज द प्रॉब्लम चंदना श्रुति पीयूष वॉट हैपन आई गॉट ए सी प्लस ए बी वाई ए बी प्लस ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट फ्रॉम वेर डिड यू गेट ए बी इट्स ओके लेट मी नो फॉर दिस वन वायलेटेड सेकेंड कंडीशन इन पी ओ एस सो दैट इज रॉन्ग सो इट्स ओके यू विल लर्न सो के मैप यू गेट विद प्रैक्टिस ओके द मोर यू प्रैक्टिस द मोर यू गेट करेक्ट एंसर so over here you can see now so i cannot make any groups okay i cannot make a group of two like this this is invalid grouping okay because i told you the structure of the group either it should be horizontal or it should be vertical this is slanted group so i will be making four groups of one like this now if i write the sop expression for this so this will be a complement b complement c complement plus a b complement c plus a complement sorry yeah a complement b c plus a b c complement and if you now solve a x or b x or c you will get this only so this will be your homework to check whether you get a complement b complement c as this expression or not okay now let us come to four variable k map so in four variable k map look very carefully i have examples or not yes i have example so look so how am i going to make combinations of ab so if i fill this this will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it will be 8 9 10 11 12 13 15 14 15 16 17 okay so this will be all your cell number same over here also same over here now let me give you and ask you first what will you do so let me take first sop so group of ones let me so this is okay solve and tell me so this is not equivalent okay i have taken to different sop and pos because you can see all the places which are vacant it is not filled with zero okay so this is a different expression now we have learned that concept so how many times i am going to repeat that sop and pos for a same boolean expression it is the same thing okay so tell me what will be the sop for this k map four variable and for this one bhumika any doubt 
in case of any doubts no need for typing you can just unmute and speak to me okay and there is nothing to be afraid of there is nothing to be afraid of see okay sop is equal to a complement d complement a complement b plus a b complement d okay so if you are getting the same thing bhumika you can write same it's okay your voice is am i audible properly to others hello shubham you want to say something yes you rejoin once again okay so i will solve this i will solve this one look and if it is not clear bhumika i will say okay she went offline so look i will make one group now you can see that i can make one group of four like this okay i can make one group of four like this and another group of four like this so this is a group of four okay this is a group of four now you can see now this is a group of two and this one is one more group of two so tell me how many of you got this how many of you got this anyone shubham raised hand okay sir yes so why not let all four of them that five seven you took now why not four five six seven yes i will explain i know <laughs> you are telling me it's okay i know so if i tell you the answers we learn better from our mistakes okay we learn from our mistakes always so i wanted to show you the wrong thing so if none of you have got so this is a common mistake see my first and foremost condition was what maximize group size and minimize number of group so here i have violated one thing if you see this one this group i could have done what i could have grouped it like this then my number of groups it is still 3 previously when i was doing a group like this at that time also number of groups were 3 but when i do like this till my number of groups are 3 but the group size for this group has increased from 2 to 4 so now i will get what i will get your minimized expression so for this group what will i get so out of ab what is common a equal to 0 is common so a complement out of cd what is common d equal to 0 is common so a complement d complement plus this group what is common so you can see only a equal to 0 b equal to 1 is common so that will be a complement b plus this group so what you can do you can see there here out of a b c d a b is common so that will be what a b complement out of c d what is common so c equal to 0 and d equal to 1 so d equal to 1 is common so this is your sop form so i guess a complement d complement a complement b a b complement d yes shruti got the correct answer others might have also got the correct answer now look for this pos see what can i do i can make a group of two something like this this will be one group this will be one group okay group 1 this is your group 2 this is your group 3 and this one is your group 4 okay group 
How many of you got this? How many of you got this? It's okay. Shubham Kumar raised hand. It's okay. Shubham, I will explain. Okay, if you have got this, it's wrong. Means it's not wrong, but you won't be getting the minimized expression. Okay, you won't be getting the minimized expression. Why? Because corner zeros yes four corner zeros are grouped together so when i connect this point with this point what happens that this four zeros they are consecutive to each other they are consecutive to each other zero to eight ten Either you can join this point to this point, or you can join this point to this point. What will happen? These will become consecutive group. Means consecutive zeros. Now this will be group one, group of four. Next will be this group, and third will be this group. So if I write for group of four, so out of A, B, C, D, what is common? You can see. A equal to zero, A equal to one, so it is not common. B equal to zero, B equal to zero common. So B out of C D, what is common? D equal to zero, so this will be B D over here. This A B complement means A and B, it is common over here, and both of them have value one. So this will be A complement, B complement, and out of C D, what is common? B equal to one is common. So D complement, and for this one, you can see. B equal to one is common, so B complement, and out of C D, both of them are common, so this will be C complement, D complement. Sir, so they are product of sums. What they are? The product of sums, yes, sir. Oh, oh, I am very sorry. Yes, obviously means. What am I doing? Very good. So they are product of sum. Yes, you should have told earlier. <laughs> means it's okay. I was writing POS, but in your SOP form, I was writing. So you can see what is common in this group one. So B equal to zero is common. So B, and out of C D, what is common? B equal to zero. So B plus D. In this group, A complement plus B complement and D equal to one. And here it is what B complement. Plus C complement plus D complement. Okay, so this is your reduced POS form or your minimized POS form. Yes, it is POS. I am very sorry. Okay, so it's okay. Now let us solve few questions. So this is the first question. See, always I take random questions after teaching a topic. I don't take question of that topic directly. because in examination you won't be getting questions like that you will be getting random conceptual questions okay so solve this question and tell me what is your answer solve this question think about this question what can you infer from this question what answer are we getting
answers b okay so look very carefully what is the question to so consider the logic circuit shown in the below figure the function f1 f2 and f in canonical sum of product form in decimal notation r the function f3 is so you need to find this f3 you have been given the min terms of f1 f2 and f so what is f okay what is f over here f1 is sorry f is given it is given that min terms 8 and 9 are present 8 plus 9 what about f1 so it is 8 9 10 means i should not be writing like this F2 is given as 7 8 12 13 14 15 7 8 12 13 14 15 7 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 13 14 15 8 12 always remember when i pass min terms through and gate okay min terms through and gate only common min term or max term will go to output common min terms and max term means what common input means common min terms and max terms of inputs will go to output so here you can see 8 is common 8 is common 9 it is not common 10 is it common no 10 is also not present so output of this and gate will be what only min term number 10 okay only common min terms of input will pass through your and gate and go to output okay note this down now what if this is your or gate all the min terms and max term of input will pass to output and and common terms will be written once only once i should be writing okay so now look this is 10 what is the f given over here it is your what 8 and 9 this is 8 9 so the common min term is 8 so no no common okay so i have written 10 why so that is what i was thinking what happened so this is 8 very good thank you okay it should be 8 okay so now what i told that basically when you pass min terms or max term through your or gate all the inputs will pass to output along with the common terms only written once so you can see what that 8 so this is input to or gate so this 8 is coming from here so the remaining term 
which is your output of the OR gate, from where it should come? It should come through your F3. So, this is your correct option that F3 should be 9. Only then you will get what? You will get your output as 8, 9. So, now let me frame one more question for you. Okay, let me frame one more question. Or can I do something over here? Okay, chalo. for the same question. So, note this down very quickly, whatever I told. Those of you who have solved, so I don't know if we will be getting correct answer or not. Okay, or else I will frame one question myself. So, here basically the function is a, b, c, d, four variables. So, from 0 to 15 numbers are possible. Okay, so, this is f. Even I don't know what will be answer. So, tell me what will be f now. Zero, 01 okay so look here this is your or gate okay solve so this is your or gate so all the min terms are going to pass okay all the min terms and common terms will be written once so this is m 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 And from here, only the common terms, so 0 is common, 1 is common. So, this will be 0, 1. And this is end, so only common terms will pass. So, this will be what? This will be 0, 1. Okay? So, very simple question. Solve this next question now. See, this is why I told you, look, this question was asked in 1997. And this question is asked in 2008. Concepts get repeated, question does not get repeated. See the same concept question is asked. So that is why I will suggest if you are from EC electrical IN, purchase all the three PYQs, okay, all the three branch PYQs and if you are from computer science, so, for this particular subject, digital electronics, I will say solve questions of EC, EE and IN. Okay. Solve questions of EC, EE and IN. You don't know when your concepts might be repeated. Question is not repeated, but concepts are repeated. So, solve this question very quickly.
सिक्स एंड एट ओके लुक वेरी केयरफुली सो वॉट इज गिवन एफ इज फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सो दीज आर मिन टर्म्स एफ टू अच्छा एफ थ्री इज गिवन सो वेर इज एफ थ्री एफ वन एफ थ्री एंड एफ सो आई गेस दिस विल बी एफ थ्री and this is f2 okay so f3 is what 1 6 15 and f is what 1 6 8 15 okay so now let us see so this is and gate so if you see over here 1 6 15 so these are coming from here 1 6 15 it is present in this f3 so this is or gate okay now this 8 should come from this input so when will i get 8 if your f2 has 8 then i will get 8 over here so check the options you have 6 8 so if 6 8 is coming so what will happen over here so if this is 6 comma 8 so this will be what 6 8 so what will you get again you will be getting the same thing this result so 6 8 is correct what about 4 6 4 6 if you write over here so option a if i take 4 6 so 4 will also come over here but that is not required so option a is incorrect 4 8 even if we write 4 8 over here so again you can see what 4 and 8 will pass through this and gate and again 4 will come over here so this option b is also incorrect what about option c 4 6 8 so this is also incorrect because you will be getting 4 6 and 8 over here so 4 will be again present so option c is correct okay option c is correct now solve this question very quickly b okay so look over here the output expression for the k map shown below so they haven't told you whether to write sop or pos so you can take any one of the following so i am taking pos over here so because it is simple if i take pos this will be the group if i take sop then what will be your group one of the group will be like this this is a group of four another will be like this this group of four so any way you solve so for this group of zero if i write pos so a is common so a complement and out of b and c what is common c is c equal to 1 is common so a plus c complement okay if i want to write for po sop so one of the group is this one so this whole group is what this is a equal to 1 so have i made some mistake yes obviously this is a equal to 0 in non complemented form this is your means 0 means non complemented so over here if you write the sop so this will be what a equal to 1 so a equal to 1 this is one group another group is this group of 4 so a nothing of a is common out of b and c what is common c equal to 0 is common so plus c complement you can see you are getting same answer from any of the way you want sop or pos so option b is correct any doubts in this any doubts fine so this is the last question for today and after this i am going to stop and the remaining questions you need to solve yourself okay okay so there is concept of don't care so that i need to say so it's okay so this question will be last
what answers are we getting so very simple question so look over here the output expression for the k map shown below so by looking in the options you can see it is written in your pos form so we are going to group 1 no one is going to group zeros over here because all the answer is in your sop form shubham is saying c so if you want to group the ones so one of the group i can see is this group group of 4 okay this is one group of 4 one more this group i can make so if i start writing this group of 4 has what common so b equal to 1 is common and from cd what is common d equal to 0 is common so bd complement and for this group the small group of 2 so ab equal to 1 is common so ab and out of cd what is common c equal to 1 is common so abc which option option c is your correct answer okay option c is your correct answer now your homework homework will be to check the same question using pos if you are getting the same expression or not okay shubham d so in c b is a complement but we need okay. d complement sorry so i thought you got the correct answer so this is wrong okay so you can see very confusing options are there so take care of all this thing so these are all important thing you can see it is d okay d is correct yes so c is wrong shubham you wrote the wrong one okay then you corrected yourself so always in examination when you mark the options check okay so this is your homework you need to check for pos and over here also you are going to check this question using your k map if you get the same result or not okay so today we are going to end the session over here so tomorrow also there is one class okay from 9 to 11 so we will in tomorrow session we are going to cover the remaining topics whatever is remaining so we will be ending this chapter tomorrow okay we will be ending the first chapter tomorrow okay so i will